Deadly eye. Wait, Night Eyes? On the DVD cover, it says Deadly Eyes. Oh, no, 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 no! This isn't that 1990 movie that's practically softcorn pornography, is it? Man, that's a lot of fire for a porno. Oh, okay. This is the right movie. Loosely based on the James Herbert novel, The Rats, these rats have eaten steroid injected grains and now bigger, meaner, and hungrier. This is one of those movies where the death scenes are the highlights, but the rest of the movie is either boring or lackluster. Some of them are really random. This guy appears 30 minutes into the film, out of nowhere, happy as a clam, mind you, and you just know he's going to die. How'd he flip like that? That was awesome! Sometimes you just want to yell at the characters. This kid got bitten by a strange animal and he rides his bike across town to see his basketball coach? Are you kidding me? And there's this disgusting, disturbing subplot that has no reason to be in a killer rat movie about a high school girl stalking her teacher. It's not clear if she's of age and the teacher is creeped out about it. It's just really uncomfortable to watch. Like if your mom walked in on you naked. Nobody wants to bear witness to that. Your zipper's undone. The real charm of the movie is the rats themselves. When they're up close, they're puppets and ugly as hell. But the rats are actually dachshunds. Yeah, 35 or so dachshunds were used, as well as five terriers for when there was jumping. And each dog had to be measured and fitted so the costume and mask would fit right. That sounds painstakingly boring! But when you know that the rats are actually adorable little dogs, all scariness is just thrown out the window. The rats almost become cute, I hate to say it. Even when they kill a baby, one with a bad haircut I must say, and I thought it was a boy at first, but it's a girl. Oh boy. But they're just puppies, they want to play! <laughs> oh, they're so cute! And so strong! But the final act would give any casual movie watcher nightmares. The rats ambush people at a movie theater. It's mad, organized anarchy. There's something so unsettling watching scores of innocent, naive people being devoured by rats. I think it's more unsettling for innocent people to be killed by other innocent people, like being trampled to death or being pushed out a window. Their brains are speeding cars being driven by their involuntary fear, and there's no brakes. It has to be one of the most embarrassing ways to die. And it sucks too, because they were watching a Bruce Lee movie, who is my idol. The crowd was really into it. Aw, oh, look at this, she's trying to kiss him and he's INTO the movie! That's so brave. Speaking of martial arts and kung fu, Hong Kong Fu is in it, yeah! Scatman Crothers. But it's a wasted role. I always thought his acting here was kind of peculiar. Like he just woke out of bed or something. Yes, sir, that sucker was this big! But it turns out I wasn't too far off. And uh, I think one of my responsibilities as a co-producer at that point was making sure that Scatman had uh, uh, enough weed um, at his disposal to uh, render a, the fine performance that he did. Yeah, Scatman was smoking dope. When he's about to die, he just falls over like he's high. I guess it literally was a wasted role. Deadly Eyes isn't a good movie, there's really no tension or suspense, but the wintry atmosphere gives the movie a bleak feeling, and the ambience and squeals of terror do, do pierce the skull. It's nothing new, but the rats provide some entertainment. It's a delicious serving of B-movie cheese whiz.